So today we're um, gonna do an oil change for this 2015 Toyota RAV4, it's a four cylinder engine. Um, and we pretty much have all the essential pieces to it. We have the engine oil. Uh, so it's five quarts of the Zero W20 um, synthetic oil from Toyota. Then we have the oil filter. Uh, so it's 04152YZZA1. Um, and you're gonna get a gasket like this. Uh, these uh, filters are actually the paper filters. So like Toyota used to have the, um, for a time they had the um, twist off filter uh, in the metal canister. They went to these pure paper filters with the reusable um, canister. And then um, now with the, I have a 2024 Corolla and they're back to those metal canisters. So if there was a time period when they use these uh, and that's what this car has and that's what we're using today. Uh, and then we have a, a crush washer. So before we um, start the oil change, we're gonna jack up the car. Uh, first, we're gonna put these um, tire chucks um, here. Uh, it holds the wheel down so it doesn't actually slip and move back and forth. And then the mountain point for the RAV4 is right underneath the front wheels and the behind, and you're gonna see these two kind of hatch marks, and this is the jack point on both sides. You can also jack it up in the middle, but I'm just gonna jack it up on this side. So right underneath the um, passenger side of the front of the car, um, right underneath we have the car propped up on jack stands. You're gonna see a few things here. You can see this is the engine oil pan and this is the oil filter. Uh, it's contained with a little metal um, canister here. You could actually use one of these, uh, maybe a 3 8 socket and put it in here, or you can just get one of those oil filter um, wrenches and just kind of put it in and it'll work as well. Uh, I prefer the one that fits directly just because uh, it prevents stripping and it has a little bit more grip. And the other thing you'll notice is this is the engine oil filter. We have a little tray here just for spillage. And then this is the main kind of oil pan uh, tray that we're going to use to collect the oil. Um, and then the plug is going to be right here. I don't know if you can see it. I'll go more underneath the car and show you guys the plug. You can see the plug here. You can see the crush washer behind it and then the oil plug. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take out both of them. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a 14 millimeter um, socket. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put it right on top, loosen it and take it out. Um, I'm gonna put the phone down and you're just gonna, you guys can watch me take it out um, at the moment. I'm actually gonna start with a breaker bar. Um, and it's gonna be lefty loosey, so I'm gonna to pull towards me. You can see that it's already loose and broken through. And I'm pretty much gonna keep loosening it. Make sure the oil is not hot when you're taking it apart because it could burn you. And then you pretty much spin it and let the oil go. And at this time, we're just gonna wait, let it drain out. It's probably gonna take a few minutes. And then once we're done, we're gonna come back in and do the rest. So now that the oil is trained, we're gonna put the oil plug back. And this is the crush washer that we're gonna replace um, and not reuse. And so let's get in the car and show you what we had to kind of work with. So previously we drained the oil, as you can see here. And the one thing about these oil pans is sometimes the um, crush washer will just stick there. And so if you end up doubling up the crush washer, you're gonna get an oil leak. So one of the things you have to do is just try to pull it out. And if you can't pull it by hand, you're gonna have to take like a little uh, wrench, uh, a little screwdriver and kind of knock it out. And we can't take it out right now, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, but what I'm gonna do is take this screwdriver here 
line it up against the side here so it doesn't really scratch the oil pan but it's like right against the crush washer and i'm just gonna tap it once and you can see that it just kind of knocked out the crush washer so that's off of it it's kind of fell in the oil pan there and it's pretty much gone so um this the surface is still smooth i'm just wiping off the excess oil and all I'm going to do now is just take the existing, the new crush washer, as you can see here, take the new, the existing drain plug, and we're pretty much just going to put it in. So I'm um, screwing back the drain plug, and then I'm going to use the 14 millimeter uh, just to tight, hand tighten it together. So I have a 14 here, change it to tight, and I'm not going to do much. It's just going to be a few turns here till I feel tension, and then um, just one push with my hand. And once it's tight, I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to do it too tight. If it's dripping, I'll tighten it some more. Some people torque it to the spec, but... For these type of drain plugs, I don't want to strip the thread, so I'm, I'm pretty delicate with it. And so that's all I need to do uh, to get it secure. All right, so I'm just uh, using this oil filter wrench. I pretty much just loosened it as you can see there you might have to use a breaker bar for it and at this point you're just going to spin it loose So this is the um, oil filter canister and you can see the difference between the, the new one and the old one. New one being this part number here. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to take out the old one, wipe it clean. So all you do is just lift it out and you can just drain the rest of the oil in the pan you can see this is what it looks like so we're going to drain the rest of the oil and we're going to wipe it clean so it's it's pretty sticky right now or wet and the next thing we're going to do is just take a little screwdriver and you see where this part is this little hinge here uh, we're just going to put our screwdriver in there and just take out the gasket. And it's as simple as just kind of pulling forward and just taking out the ring, as you saw there. Um, it has a little oil residue there. That is okay because we're just going to lubricate it a little bit, but wipe a little clean. And we're going to take the new gasket and we're just going to rotate it around until it gets back into place, as you see there. And then you put the new filter just at the top. Um, they're pretty much the same, doesn't matter which direction you put it in at. And you can see that it just spins and stays pretty smooth. And all you do is just put it back. So as you can see there, we have the um, oil filter here and we're just gonna twist it back. So we're just going to line it up and righty tighty, just twist to the right and make sure you don't cross thread, make sure it goes in smoothly. Just should have like a nice loose feel and then it should transition to snug. 
and what we're doing, we're just gonna hand tighten with our hand right now until you see it kind of like lock up and give you a little friction, as you see there. And at that point, all you do is take the existing oil filter wrench and we're gonna just tighten it through. It says here, tighten to 13 newton meters. I'm just gonna hand tighten. And then what I'll do is when I put the oil in, to turn on the car, get it hot, check the drain plug as well as check the oil filter. Make sure there's no leaks. There you have it. That is the bottom portion of the oil filter change. And all we need to do is pour oil. All right, so we filled five quarts of zero W twenty, as you saw there, and pretty much that's all you have to do. Um, take a funnel fill up the drain cap and uh, cap it off. I like to take a paper towel, just kind of wipe around the sides, absorb any excess oil, um, but making sure I don't really drop anything. And then you just put the drain cap back on and tighten as well. And then this yellow lever here, you want to check the oil level. You start off by wiping the top and what you're looking for is you want you can see it if it zooms in there are two dots this is low this is high or full and that's what you want so you stick the oil in the car hasn't been started yet so there's no oil everywhere and you can see there that there is oil filled up all the way. You can see it a little wet there. And so that tells you the oil level. Um, we are gonna start the car, let it circulate, and then check for leaks. But we're pretty much done with the um, oil filter and oil change. So all we need to do is just kind of close the hood, drive it around, and you're good to go. So thanks for watching. That was the quick tutorial of how to change your oil for the Toyota RAV4 um, with the oil filter canister instead of a standard, you know, just throw away oil filter. Um, so hopefully that was helpful and thanks for watching again. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you find this stuff useful and I'll keep making videos.